This is Zodiac's newest cleaner. It's called the T3. I'm going to show you how to install it. It comes with like a one or two page um, instruction book how to install the cleaner. In the box you have all the hoses and you have the cleaner. You have to put it together. Pretty easy to do. You have the connector for the skimmer. You also have the valve to test the suction on your cleaner included. And it comes with 10 3 feet hose of their new style hoses. So the new style hoses, they come in the pl together like this and they actually lock in the place. And they can be a little fragile so be careful when you lock them that you don't break this little clip here. But they're supposed to last a lot longer than the old style hoses. What do you think of the cleaner? Is it good? So the T3 is a suction side cleaner so it can be hooked up either through your skimmer or through a side port in your pool. We'll take the basket out. You want to take any kind of flow diverter out also. A two hole skimmer it'll go in the back hole here. Skimmer insulation you'll get the flow keeper valve here. Make sure you have the air pointing down into the skimmer hole. Piece here you want to stick the flow keeper valve in here with the air pointing down. We come over to the skimmer we're going to stick this in here like this. Push it all the way down into the skimmer. That'll keep that flow keeper valve from popping out. You want to kind of press kind of hard to get that rubber piece in there. Okay, and you're going to need this elbow piece because it goes in the new style hose, the last one that goes into the skimmer. So I'll show you right now how that's going to look. The easiest way to do this is take the hose that you're going to use. We're going to slide this into the hose. And through the skimmer, past the weir gate, down in here, and we're going to clamp that white piece over the flow keeper valve. This is how it's going to look as it's fully assembled inside your skimmer. You have the rubber piece here, flow keeper valve, the little elbow, and then the first hose. As well as the side port, Zodiac wants to use this piece here. And this goes into the side port back lock. And then the hose will clamp into that piece. It'll look something like this inside the side port back lock area. This doesn't come with the cleaner, you have to get this separately. I definitely recommend using a back lock in your pool. That'll prevent entrapment if the cleaner is operating and it comes out. There are various manufacturers that make back locks and basically they'll shut like this when the hose comes out and prevent entrapment. Here's the side port right here and the furthest point in this pool is over here and then I have two extra hoses outside the furthest point and that's the length you want for your pool. I'm going to have those two extra hose lengths. At this point, the cleaner is still disassembled. We're going to check the flow now. If you take the wheel deflector here, you'll see two clips here under the deflector. And this flow gauge actually just clips right in there. To remove it, you just simply push these two tabs here, and the flow gauge will come right out. I have that into the side port here. Deflector with the flow gauge on here, we're going to connect it to the hose that's going to be attached to the cleaner. So it should look something like this. So now we're going to go ahead and test the flow. Lock that hose in place. Now we're going to turn the pool on. We're going to submerge this part in the water. The hose should look something like this when you're testing it. I have it pulled over here so I can hold it while I'm testing it. And if your pool has a side port, you can adjust it, of course, with the valve here. I'm going to turn it on and see what it's at to start with. You want the flow to be right at 3, so I'm going to go ahead and adjust it. Right now it's too low. You can see it's right down at 1. Carefully don't pull it out of the water, otherwise it'll scare it like that. Okay, I adjusted it and it's a little bit high, it's on four. I'm gonna turn it down just a tad. Now I got it right at three. That took a little bit of adjusting. I want to turn the pool off. We'll get the cleaner connected. If you have eyeball return fittings like here, you can turn them downwards. So you have to loosen up the fitting and then you can actually turn them down like this so that the water is returning to your pool downwards. If you have snub pipe returns like this pool here, they do sell an insert, a wire insert that will allow you to direct those downwards with cleaner insulation.
comes with one weight and it wants, you want to put it at the far end of the first hose. I'm going to clip it together. It should go right on. I'm going to go ahead and throw the cleaner in. And there it is operating in the pool nicely. See it bouncing along the bottom. And that's the installation of the Zodiac T3 cleaner.